<laughs> okay, so don't mind that blank wall behind me. I just got done redoing the whole entire setup. I swear the background is going to be a lot better in the next coming weeks. I do have a green screen there, but it's only for when I'm live streaming. Anyways, I took a DNA test last year and I found out I am 100% not that bitch. But what I did find out was pretty interesting and recently I realized that, you know what? I want to actually share this information with you guys. So as you guys can see right now, we're on a website called 23andMe. I know some people are going to be like, yo, you gave Google your information. Google now has your DNA, but at this point, I, I, I really don't care because Google knows anything and everything about me. But there are some really cool things about this that I really like. You know, I can see my ancestry, my health, traits, DNA relatives, which is going to be very big in this video and actually probably in a couple videos from now too. Apparently, there's a family tree, which is in beta. I have one connection, 102 questions answered, one publications, and that's about it. So let's click on health right here and let's see what we got. We're going to come down here to health predisposition. I hope I pronounced that correct. But as you guys can see, we're on this page and there's just a lot of stuff. So age related macular degeneration. I think that has to do something, something with my eyesight age related macular degeneration. Okay. What exactly is that? Fatty deposits under the retina. Ah, I was right. It has something to do with your eyes. See, I am actually a pretty smart cookie. So whatever and however this is pronounced causes loss in the center of the field of vision and a dry macular degeneration. The center of the retina de something with wet macular. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to go blind. Okay, guys, as you can see, I already, oh my goodness, I am blind without my glasses. I'm putting this back on. So yeah, I, these things right here are a lifesaver. Celiac disease, and that is actually something very true, not just for me, but my family. Thankfully, at the moment, I do not have it. I haven't had really any symptoms of celiac but my sister my one cousin and a few other people in my family actually have celiac so i'm thankful that i do not have it so besides age-related macular degeneration which is such a long word to say and celiac disease nothing else was really detected in my dna i guess i'm a pretty ha healthy fat person moving on let's check out wellness we got eight reports right here alcohol flush reaction unlikely to flush i have no clue what that means but i guess i, I can't flush the toilet I, I don't know caffeine consumption likely to consume more which is very true uh deep sleep more likely to be a deep sleeper now here's the thing okay i really like my sleep I, I, if I don't get at least eight hours of sleep, I am miserable the whole entire day. Uh, so yeah. And plus like sometimes I sleep through this little thing going off my pager and I'm like, yep, I missed the fire call. Don't know how I did that, but that sucks. Predisposed to weigh about average. So I'm not supposed to be fat. Oh, uh, lactose intolerant, likely tolerant. That's, I love milk, so that's good. Uh, muscle composition, common in elite power athletes. Well, I did play hockey and I, I was pretty good at that. What a beautiful save by Saxon. Puck goes back to number 16. He shoots and he's robbed. Saturated fat and weight, likely similar weight. Sleep movement, likely more than average movement. Oh, damn. I, I guess I move a lot in my sleep. Moving on the traits, we have 37 reports, which... That's that's a lot of traits right there. Ability to match musical pitch. About 50-50 chance of being able to match a musical pitch. Okay, so if there's a 50-50 chance, let's try this. Ready? Sweet home Alabama, where the skies are so blue. Sweet home Alabama, Lord, I'm coming home to you. Here I come, Alabama. All right, let me know if that sounded good down below in the comment section. To me, dude, it, it sounded great. Asparagus odor detection likely can smell well i'm glad i can smell bald spot likely no bald spot thank goodness man i mean I, my hair is pretty mint so i'm kind of happy about that bitter taste likely can't taste bunions less likely than the average person to have had a bunion what is a bunion oh something to do with my toes oh uh, i'll i'll check out my feet real quick uh, my, my toe looks pretty good compared to to what they show there on google so uh, I'm not gonna die yet. That's the good news. A bunion is formed when the big toe pushes against the next toe. Tissues, foot stress, and arthritis are causes. The main symptoms are bone deformity, pain, and stiffness. Okay, well, my toes seem to be fine, so that's a plus. Cheek dimples, likely to have no dimples. Don't even know what this says, but slightly higher odds of disliking whatever that is. Earlobe type, likely detached air earlobes. Oh, no, they, they seem to attach. I, I can't tell. Uh, early hair loss, likely no hair loss. Yes, yes, 
Ginger power, man. We get to keep the red hair for the rest of my life. Earwax type, likely wet earwax. That's kind of true. Eye color, likely blue or green. I have green. Fear of heights, less likely than the average to be afraid of heights, which is very true because it, when it comes to firefighting, uh, my department has a 100, and, uh, 100 foot uh, platform ladder truck. So I've climbed that before going up and down, up and down. Fear of public speaking, less likely to have a fear of public speaking. I guess if I had a fear of public speaking, I probably wouldn't be making YouTube videos. Freckles, likely to have a lot of freckles. Yeah, that that is definitely very true. Hair photo bleaching, more likely to experience hair photo bleaching, which is basically as a redhead, in the summertime, my hair becomes more kind of blonde, so it's like a blondish red, so that's true. Ice cream flavor preference, more likely to prefer chocolate over vanilla ice cream. Whoa, whoa, Th this is totally wrong. My favorite kind of ice cream is actually vanilla ice cream. Okay, Google, you got this one wrong. Light or dark hair, likely light. Misophenia, less likely to hate chewing sounds. I didn't even know that was a word for it. Mosquito bite frequency, likely bitten as often as others. Motion sickness, about 50-50 chance of experience motion sickness. Well, I don't, thankfully. Phonetic sneeze reflex, yes. Uh, I, I gotta stare at the sun or a bright light in order to sneeze. Red hair, likely red hair, that's very true. Skin pigment, likely lighter skin, yes, I burn in the sun. Stretch marks, less likely to have stretch marks. Unfortunately, I do. But that's just because I'm fat, and once I lose all the weight, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna really have any more stretch marks, so that's gonna be a plus. Now, for this portion of the video, I'm gonna be blurring out the people's names, but I will say their first name, just not their last name. And a uh, few of these people I have, actually reached out to and weirdly oddly enough i talked to my mom and my mom's like yeah you're kind of related to so and so and i'm like okay this makes sense i guess so this first one named samantha right here is my second cousin uh 5.82 percent dna shared 13 segments and this is crazy right so apparently she messaged me back in august and i never saw the message so i ended up messaging her back and we started figuring out who is related to who and how everything is connected and it turns out her father is my mom's cousin and my mind is absolutely blown because my mom hasn't seen this cousin since she was two years old and that would have been in like 90 1972 and we actually plan on meeting up in a couple weeks so there might be a vlog and a part two to this video meeting family that i've never met before uh this kevin guy he shares 2.75 percent dna uh according to my mom the last name he has is related to some so and so in my family it made no sense but we go down the bill and i'm like yo dude this last name is so familiar because this is my aunt's last name and i talked to bill and i found this out so i asked bill back on november 5th are you related to kathy my aunt and i said she is from pennsylvania he said not directly my father's family was from the wilkes bear area his mom name was helene and his father's name was thomas Do you know more about their parents i really didn't know much so i reached out to my aunt so on november 6 i reached back out to the guy and i told him this my aunt kathy said this is from her husband named bob uncle bob and his uncle tom moved to buffalo and worked at a tool booth he later moved to florida uncle bob's father was one of 13 kids from two mothers he doesn't remember if he was a brother or a half brother to his dad and then bill responded back yeah sounds like that tom is my grandfather he moved to niagara falls and worked at various industrial places and finally at the state park i'm thinking that might be the toll booth i believe he worked the booth and at the observation tower at the falls he then retired to florida and I just said that's all interesting to know because now somehow we're basically related. Other than that, I mean, if I scroll down through the rest of these pages, it's kind of crazy to see how many relatives I actually have and like the amount of DNA shared. It's like, yo, third to fifth cousin, third to fifth cousin. And then there's 47 pages of family members if i just go back to the top the exact amount of family relatives that uh 23 of me is showing for me itself is 1175 which is a lot of people that i'm apparently related to and no i am not sending all 1175 people a christmas card even though that's a great idea for content that's just that's way too many people to send a Christmas card to. Okay, so here we are in the final, final segment of the 23andMe video. I want to look at my ancestry and where I am from, and I think this is going to be pretty, pretty cool. So, here is my information right here. Jeffrey Saxon Jr., 100% me. I know, I'm 100% a 
uh, not actually bad bleep because, you know, 99% uh, or 99.8% European, which is kind of crazy. Northwestern European, 54%. So I am actually British and Irish, 31.2%. Uh, it's from County Cork or Cork, Ireland, Greater London, United Kingdom. Uh, I'm French and German, 11.5%. Scandinavian, 4.1%. Broadly North Northwestern European, 7.1%. Eastern European, 34.4%. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Oh, it's Poland. Okay, I know I'm Polish, so that that's a plus to know. Also, you got Southern European, Greek and Balkan, Saudi Arabian. Broadly Southern European and broadly European. So that's a whole lot of locations for me to actually be kind of a part of. I have to say DNA is a very weird thing. And if you've taken a 23 mean test or any kind of DNA test, let me know down below in the comment section. I mean, maybe you might just be one of the 1,175 people that I'm related to. So if you've taken the test, go through all your relatives and see if you see my name, Jeffrey Saxon Jr. And I guess we might be related, but no. You're not getting a Christmas card either. If you guys enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on any videos that I post here on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I know it's a lot different video than I normally make, but I I wanted to try something new, and honestly, I enjoyed the style of the video. So thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. Remember, you guys do anything you put your mind to. Remember to stay positive. Until next time, it's been your boy Jeff, keeping it real. I'm gonna log out. I'm gonna peace out, and well, peace. I'll see you.